I'm Jordan and you're not. And you might have been wondering what I've been doing since my last review, since my last review was in January. Anyway, today I'm reviewing... <sighs> Why do I always come back to this movie? I've talked about this movie like 78 times in, in all of my videos. Well, probably not that many, but it just it seems like 78 times. Well, I guess I'm going to be talking about The Room on Blu-ray, bitch. Look at that. Look at his face on this cover. Really look at it. Can you see that? Look, his, his eyes are so squinty in this, you know, on the Blu-ray. I mean, on the other one, he looked like he was stoned out of his mind. And now on this one, he barely has his eyes open. That's ridiculous, bro. Okay. To me... There's hardly any difference between the DVD and the Blu-ray. I mean, the D if the Blu-ray might have a few more special features, and maybe it's just a tiny bit clearer and brighter, but that's it. I mean, there's really... I mean, it's not like, you know, watch, watching Star Wars or Avatar or the, or the Avengers on Blu-ray. It's just still the room, basically. I mean, maybe you can see Tommy Wiseau's oily ass maybe better in high definition. Maybe you can see a few pubic hairs on his, you know, testicles area. But that's basically it. And also in the background, and Tommy was so, and Mark, whatever, always, they're always on the roof talking about random crap about women. You can, it, it looks so fake. It looks so much more fake. And like how they're just, you know, in San Francisco, it looks like a green screen background. It did in the DVD, but now this one you can tell it's much worse. Alright, so if you don't know the story for some whatever reason, I'm going to tell you. This movie is about Johnny, who has oily hair, long oily black hair, and he's in love with Lisa, his future wife, who likes wearing red dresses. So he buys her a red dress, and then Denny, some weird little neighbor guy, comes over and when they're trying to have sex, and then they have sex for like five minutes, and it takes them forever to actually do it. And then, all of a sudden, out of the no, out of nowhere, out of the blue, the blue cover, Lisa wants to start sleeping with Johnny's best friend, Mark. Ha 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 ha. What a story. And there's all these random subplot characters like Peter, the psychologist, and Mike, and Michelle, and Chris R., the drug dealer, and the, the flower shop lady, and, and Doggy, and the people at the... Uh, tea and coffee and cheesecake shop factory place and uh, some random guy at the Johnny's party they show later at the end. This movie is so bad that it is good. I mean if you just, it's so incredibly amazingly bad that it makes you want to watch it. It's, it's crazy. I don't know what he did, what Tommy was so did, but he did it right I guess. But I heard that originally he wanted to probably make, you know, a serious drama about, you know, how his girlfriend's cheating on him and wanted to be all serious and make it like a soap opera. But because of his terrible acting, it's funny. It's so funny. And, like, there's all these... I don't know. You know, I still, I still love it. I mean, I still give this movie an A+, plus for being... for what it is. And, but, you know, there's so many quotes that, you know, I say all the time, and I've made almost all my friends watch it. Megan, Matt, Chad, Justin, Tiffany, Stephanie, Laura, Tony, I'm still working on Sarah, making her watch it. Um, yeah, a lot of my friends have watched it. Oh, and Michael. I made Michael Page watch it. Michael Page, I'm, I'm making this review for you, bro. Because you wanted me to come back. Now I'm back. And also, it has a, a flip side to this Blu-ray. This would have been much better, if you, if you can see. I much would have preferred this. And then there's... Hi, doggy. But there's no... The room right here. Like, on here, it's the thing. It's the room. But, you know, I have a big pet peeve about covers being perfect and there's no if I wanted to make this if I wanted to make that like the main cover there would be no like I don't know what movie this is or it, there's no it doesn't say on the side over here oh it's the room 
So, yeah, I still give this movie an A+. I mean, not because it's a great movie or anything, but because it's just so weird and so out there that Tommy Wiseau is probably an alien trying to suck our brains out. Tommy Wiseau should work for the government. And I'll be damned if the government's going to come into my house and take my guns! Not going to stand for that. Okay, well, I hope you like my review. Hope you like me coming back. I'm Jordan Powell. Like my like this page and like my stuff. Go over to go over look at our new random roommates page that me and Justin made. Go to go look at Megan Solacom's YouTube channel. And I hope y'all you know watch more of me. Take care.